Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got another how-to styling video for y'all. I'm going to be showing you eight different ways to dress up and style a puffer vest. I feel like this has been such a trend this year. I've seen so many people wearing puffer vests online and I decided to do my own take on how to style up a puffer vest. Like all of my videos, I will have all of the outfits linked in the description box as well as the blog post where you can show shop by each look. I'll also have dupes and lower price points for each item in case there's anything that you're interested in. But we are going to go ahead and get started with this first outfit here. Starting off, this puffer vest specifically is from Lululemon and I definitely splurged for this specific vest because when I felt this vest in the store, I was so shook by how soft the material is. If you are not familiar with Lululemon, they have some of the most incredible fabrics and materials. And this puffer vest definitely lives up to the hype of Lululemon. It is the softest, most comfortable thing ever. I am wearing a size four. I'm actually right between the two and the size four for Lululemon. And I decided to actually go up a size, even though the lady in the store recommended me sizing down for the puffer vest. I actually wanted it to be a little bit more loose fitting so that I could wear it over sweatshirts. One thing about this vest is when I sized down in it, I just noticed it a little bit tighter in the armpits. It's not like it was uncomfortable, but when I did try it on in the store with bigger sweatshirts, I did find it a little bit constraining. So just keep that in mind. If you plan on wearing it with like more fitted tops like this, you shouldn't have a problem by going with the smaller size, but I ended up going with the size four. I am obsessed with this vest. I've already worn it so many different times. So I'm really excited to show you guys some different ways to style it up. This one also comes with a hood. I'm going to show you ways to style it without the hood. I just kind of like it better without the hood, but the hood is detachable and it also comes in black. It is super warm and I think it's a really fun like outerwear accessory if you are in that kind of in-between weather like we are here in Nashville. So this is the vest on. It is the most perfect beige color ever and one of the things that I told myself I would do for splurging on a Lululemon vest versus like a Forever 21 vest or an H&M vest. I told myself that I would do a video on how to style up a puffer vest. So we are going to go ahead and get started with this first look. This outfit, I would say, is kind of the most basic and simple of all the outfits. This is a very easy way to start out if you have no idea how to style up a puffer vest. I've got on this rib knit, very fitted long sleeve top from Everlane, and I've got on a pair of black denim. These are the perfect vintage wide leg jean from Madewell. I believe that's what they're called. I'll have them linked down below in the description box. These jeans I absolutely love. They are high-waisted and this is just a really simple look. I've got on some beige western boots that are suede that are so cute. I love balancing out the suede and the shoes with the very beautiful taupe that's in the puffer vest itself. So this is my first look. Like I said, this is one of the more basic ones, just a pair of great denim, a really great fitted turtleneck. You could wear a white turtleneck underneath it. It would still be very, very cute. But I really like this specific shade of beige because it's really, really easy to style as you'll see with the other outfits that I show you. But this is the first look and the puffer vest. All right, so for this next look, I went with a monochromatic all beige fit. If you have been around on my channel for any amount of time, you know I love an all cream white neutral outfit. And so playing off of the cream vest, I've got on this really beautiful ivory sweater. This is from Abercrombie and I'm pretty sure it's still current. So I'll have it linked down below. And then I've got on a pair of knit pants, which I actually haven't broken out yet this year. This is my first time breaking these out and I'm thinking I'm gonna wear them probably tonight after I finish filming this video. But these are a really great pair of neutral knit pants. I feel like knit pants were very in last year and I'm gonna keep wearing them because they're honestly the most comfortable thing ever. So to kind of match the beige on beige, I've also got on the fleece belt bag from Lululemon as well. I got this bag and I've been wearing it nonstop because it is seriously the perfect little size. You have it right on you and it's fuzzy, which just makes it feel very wintry and cozy. So this fleece bag, I feel like also matches the vest perfectly because it's the same 
beige color as the actual vest itself. And then for my shoes, I've just got on a pair of sneakers from Everlane. These are just really comfortable. I wear them in basically every single styling video because they're just some of my most worn pairs of shoes. And this is my outfit. I feel like this would be such a good outfit to wear throughout the day. Be a great like morning walk outfit because you got the sporty bag on, the sporty vest, sneaker, but more so it's just really cute and I just love an all beige fit. For this next look, I have decided to dress up the puffer vest with some plaid shorts. You could also wear it with a skirt, but I really love the high-waisted kind of plaid bottoms with this really beautiful chocolate brown sweater. If you guys are new to my channel, I have been very obsessed with chocolate brown. I've mentioned it in every single one of my videos so far this season, but I really love the chocolate brown sweater underneath this puffer vest. I think this is such a cute look. You could wear it with tights and your favorite boots. I've got it without tights right now, but I have on these really cute ruffly socks from Target and then some Chelsea boots, which just kind of keep it very casual, very chill, even though it's like more dressed up with the shorts. The vest is still a little bit like casual and sporty so I've got on a flat boot instead of a heeled boot and I think this is such a cute fall look obviously if it was colder you could throw on a pair of like plaid trousers which would be really really cool as well so loving mixing this puffer vest with some prints for the fall so for this next look I decided to go a little bit more athleisure sporty vibes you could wear it on a walk, you could wear it out to get breakfast or coffee in the morning, wear it to the mall. A very, very comfy, cozy outfit. I've got on my Lululemon leggings. These ones have pockets. I've actually had these for, I think, over two years now, and they have held up incredibly. They're actually my very first and actually only pair of Lululemon leggings, which I wanna get another pair, I just haven't come around to it yet. But these ones are this really pretty, olive green, like a very muted green. And then I've got on this kind of like workout top from Kalia, I believe. It's just a black fitted long sleeve workout top. And then my Lululemon belt bag, of course the puffer vest, my Everlane sneakers and my cute Target socks. And then I've got on this canvas hat from Madewell that also just kind of plays into all the beige that's going on. But I really love this look for taking the dog on the walk, going on a walk with friends, going to the grocery store, doing all the casual errands and stuff like that. Very, very cute, very comfy. And again, it's perfect for those like transitional months where it's not too cold outside. So you can wear a great long sleeve, your favorite leggings, and then throw this on top for a little bit of extra warmth and also some style. For my next look, I decided to go with something a little bit casual again, but I wanted to show you guys an option of wearing a puffer vest over something other than a sweater or a sweatshirt. This is a button up top from Madewell. You can definitely wear this color cream with so many different color tops as well. So you don't have to stick to just neutrals underneath this puffer vest. And because it does come in black, you can also you know wear a bunch of different colors under black as well. I really think that this specific shade of beige is very versatile, especially over really muted colors like a burnt orange or like a dusty pink. You can wear it over a sage green, obviously. So I've got it over this cord shirt and this is another really great way to wear a puffer vest. I've also got it on with a pair of Madewell jeans. These are some of my favorites. I've worn these in a few styling videos in a row now because I just find them to be really, really flattering on. And then I've got on my YSL bag that I got in the late spring. And I think this is technically a like summer bag because of the canvas, but since it's neutral, I feel like you can kind of wear all year round and it just works with again the beige of the vest and then i've got on a new pair of shoes these are from jenny kane they are a pair of like moccasin mules and they are so so comfy they actually have soles on the bottom of them so you can definitely wear them out they're not just like house shoes but they're really really comfy they almost feel like a burke on the inside they've got fur on the inside as well so it's very very cozy very plushy but you could also wear this outfit with those suede madewell booties i think that would be really cute as well i just really wanted to wear these slides because they are 
so so cute and i think that they just make any outfit feel very cozy because they do have the fur lining i feel like my rule for styling is when in doubt just wear all black so i've got on these spanx faux leather leggings they are so comfy and they have this like really great metallic sheen to them which makes them look like faux leather pants but they are really really comfortable so i've got them on with this black sweater this is actually a sweater dress that i got from revolve it's a little bit like short on me so what i did was i just tucked it up underneath one of my free people bras and i've got it almost like a crop sweater underneath the vest i've got on my gucci chain wallet because this is a really great small neutral bag but i like the print of it a lot over things like a very basic outfit and then i've got on some sleek black heel boots from Madewell, which just elongate the legs with the black leggings and it's just a really great way to throw on a vest over a very basic neutral outfit in case you are totally stumped you don't know what to do just throw on an all black look throw your vest on over it and a really great bag and that is just such a look another way you can wear a puffer vest or really any kind of vest is over a dress this is a dress from Madewell and it has these really pretty ruffles, longer sleeves, and then it's a really beautiful blue plaid. I feel like again, because it's a neutral vest, you can wear it over basically any color any pattern and it's pretty much gonna work with it so i feel like this is a really good versatile piece to have i love having a vest like this or even a sweater vest over dresses because i feel like it really changes up the look of a dress that maybe you've worn once or twice before so if you're looking to kind of refresh some of your dresses in your wardrobe a puffer vest or even a sweater vest are great options for that but this one is really cute too because it has such good movement so you get the flow underneath the puff it adds a little bit of warmth too in case you're a little bit cold in whatever dress you're wearing. I've got on this really beautiful sculptural pull-in bag. I really love this like white on beige. And then to kind of match the vest once again, I've got on the Madewell suede western booty, which oddly enough are like the exact same shade of beige as this vest. So I feel like they kind of always go together. And then again, the really cute socks from Target. This is probably my favorite way to wear a puffer vest is over some kind of cozy sweatshirt. I have recently gotten into a Nain Bing and I have two of sweatshirts now from them and I am just very obsessed with the fit and the style of their sweatshirt. So I've got on this Anine Bing Sport one and then I have the gray one that says Los Angeles on it, but they are so cozy, so comfy and just really, really good quality. So I really like this vest over the lighter gray and the darker gray. You can wear it with both and I have, but this is my favorite way to wear a puffer vest is over a sweatshirt. I just feel like it's very easy, very casual. You can actually wear it with like leggings, with denim shorts. I feel like you can just kind of make it very, very casual, the puffer vest. So I've got it on with something a little bit different though than my normal like denim and sweatshirt. I've got it on with some cargo pants, which are really, really fun if you are looking to kind of switch up the pants in your wardrobe. You're wearing something a little bit different other than denim. I think cord and cargo pants or like a faux leather pant is a really great option for switching up the usual routine of just wearing denim during the fall and winter. And then I've got it on with this really great kind of utility bag that I feel like just ties in really well with the cargo pants. And then to also play into the more casual like grunge vibe of this outfit, even though a Lululemon puffer vest is not grunge at all. I've got it on with some Doc Martens. I've had these for a couple of years now and I just, I wear the heck out of them. They're truly some of my favorite shoes. They're really, really comfortable and I can just kind of wear them all day and they give me some good height too because I am a little bit on the shorter side. So those are all the ways that I style up a puffer vest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below in the description box as well as the blog post with other dupes of the Lululemon vest. Or if you want to go ahead and grab this one, I would highly recommend it. I can see myself wearing this year after year and it's just such a good versatile piece as you guys have seen. I actually had to stop myself at eight outfits. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to come up with enough different looks but i really found myself kind of on a roll once i started to really think about how i could style up this specific vest so if you're worried about not getting a ton of wear out of a piece like this i would say just 
get creative, kind of like I did, and go through your wardrobe, see what can work with it, especially if you get a neutral one. I feel like you can kind of wear it with almost everything. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, let me know what your favorite look was from this video. And if you found it helpful and you want to stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do tons of styling videos, so I'll have a playlist down below of some other how-to styling videos I've done. But I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.